The New Forest National Park is a unique landscape and a very special place. Of all the lowland bogs and valley mires found in northwestern Europe, 75% are found right here in the New Forest. No wonder the wetlands are a fabulous jewel in the New Forest's crown. They're home to wildlife and plants, which have long since disappeared from the rest of England. They can also store as much or more carbon as woodlands. Around a decade ago, a dedicated team began the largest environmental improvement scheme in England as part of the Verderer's higher-level stewardship. Its aim was to restore past damage of these precious wetland habitats. But why do they need restoration? Essentially because they've been drying out. So around 150 years ago, the channels were straightened to drain the landscape, to get the water away from the landscape as quick as possible. This old map from 1814 shows a stream that meanders across its floodplain. By 1897, the new straightened channel had already been dug close by the ancient meander shown here in red. And this, unknown to those at the time, created a drying out of the landscape. And so lots of wetland plants and animals started to decline in these areas. Streams and rivers naturally curve around obstacles and trees, like for instance tree roots, and also navigate their way through gradients. So we're looking for the old meanders, we're looking for those old curves and channel systems. And the way that we do it is we undertake walkover surveys. We can do this in the summer times, but the fun time to do it is actually when it's been heavy rains because we can see the old channel systems. We use historical mapping and we also use a new technology called LiDAR, which helps us to pro provide an aerial photography of the landscape to help us build a picture of what actually needs to be restored and how to restore it. Once identified, the old natural stream channels were carefully unearthed and many decades of infill removed. Much of the stream life from the straightened channels was transplanted back into the newly unearthed stream, and only then could that straightened channel be infilled with local materials and blended back into the landscape. These newly restored ancient meanders now allow the watercourse to function naturally, how it was meant to, and heavy rain best demonstrates this action. So coming here today, after heavy rainfall, so it really rained last night, and as we can see, the river is actually connecting to its floodplain. When the river's moving through at such a speed, it brings that down the sediments, the mud, the natural fertilizers, the organic stuff. In a few months' time, it will be dry and it will be going back into channel. And that going out and in of channel creates a microhabitat, which wildlife and plants really thrive in. But it's not only the wildlife that benefits. So this project's brilliant because it brings a lot of multi-benefits, such as carbon storage, slowing the flow of the water, which helps, you know, water storage on the, onto the landscape, um, also health and well-being and recreational use. The restoration has also benefited some of the forest's most famous inhabitants. The ponies and livestock on the forest are owned by local people called commoners, who have the right to put animals out onto it. The restoration work is valued by the commoning community. This, the lower areas of grassland in the forest work like a, a water meadow, and during the winter the water floods across them, and that gives that lovely little flush of grass in the spring to help the ponies and cattle get going for the rest of the year. Anne has seen numerous improvements due to the restoration work on the stream near her. It looks a lot better. It doesn't have deep drainage ditches. It looks like forest and heathland. It's improved the grazing for the livestock. It has improved the um, movement of water. It has slowed the water up and stopped erosion further downstream with flash flooding that we used to have. Wetlands matter because freshwater is our foundation for life, terrestrial life. And that includes us as well as wildlife. And it's about making sure that the new forest streams are in really good, top quality condition. Even though the stream restoration scheme has been going for a decade and 20 miles restored, there's still much to do to protect the new forest streams and mires and the critically important role they play. So this is only the beginning of the project. So we're actually out there collecting the evidence and monitoring this scheme using citizen science and also professionals to help us understand how our restoration has had an impact on the landscape.
what I think the restoration will do will actually help people be aware of the forest and the fact that you do need to look after it properly and it needs to be maintained and if you do any damage that you should in fact when the opportunities come along to repair the damage and the people are beginning to think about what needs to be done in the forest to protect it. Discover more about new forest wetlands at hlsnewforest.org.uk